Welcome to GeoCast, the official podcast of GeoPro UK. GeoPro UK is a London-based creative studio, working with a diverse range of companies, individual and brands across multiple platforms to provide a wraparound service for your digital content creation requirements. Five tips for launching your podcast without overspending. With the ever-continuing growth of podcasting, more and more hosts are using business plans and strategies in preparation for their launch in order to reach the chart straight away, leaving long-time existing podcasts in the dirt. This makes for the promotion of an independent podcast with no budget fairly daunting. So we have put together a list of tried and tested ways to make yourself heard. While it may not happen overnight, by sticking at it, you'll definitely see those numbers go up. Most online guides usually recommend interviewing celebrities, getting an author to talk about their new book, or posting show notes on Pinterest. Ask yourself whether this builds the content you desire. Does it fit within the vein of your show? Could it be better to just make a great recording on what really interests you? Typically, you want to build towards getting a paid advertising feature on your show via thousands of downloads. But how do you even begin to start that journey? Here's five simple ways to do so. Number one, iTunes. As the rate of podcast listeners in the UK steadily grows, it's important to be sure that your podcast is where most subscribers are. Love or hate it, at the moment, Apple's iTunes, now Apple Podcasts, ticks the boxes. With over 1 billion podcast subscriptions, it is without a doubt the best place to be. On that note, it doesn't hurt to be seen on iTunes in your noteworthy list. It's not essential, but it doesn't hurt. This list is compiled of any new podcasts that have stimulated some hype around their launch. It also has some simple eye-catching cover design to get noticed. Apple are making changes to the podcast side of their business. For example, they're now offering analytics. Apple know how popular and important podcasts are becoming, so it makes sense to be part of the community. On a side note, as podcasts continue to grow, Spotify have thrown their hat in the ring and have started taking on podcasts. Although it might not be the first destination you would think of when looking for a podcast, in time I think their place as a podcast outlet could really grow, so it would be worth uploading to your podcast there as well. Number two, doubling up. Before doing anything, a lot of hosts like to release an episode zero. This is a short mini episode, usually around two to five minutes long, which lets people know what your show is about. Additionally, it allows you to check that your feed works and gives you an idea of engagement. Who's already keen to listen? When your first episodes are ready, a fantastic way to really draw people in is to drop two episodes together. These days, we're also used to binging and entertainment. By releasing two episodes at once, you give yourself a chance to retain attention for longer and give your audience a desire for more. Number three, get social. Before launching your podcast, get ahead of the curve by building a presence on social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This will get listeners buzzing about the launch of the podcast, meaning you can hit the ground running. It's also best to set yourself up on the podcast sites such as Acast and Stitcher as well as iTunes before. This helps broaden your discoverability. Number four, Make friends with the podcast community. Get involved in the podcast community by following, retweeting, and tagging other shows. Invite their hosts onto your show and build relationships. They will promote you in turn. Hashtags like hashtag pod and family, which have been listed in the top seven podcast communities by Forbes magazine in 2017, or hashtag PogGenie, can plug you into a vast resource of help and inspiration. Be sure to research your hashtags. They can help you reach a much greater audience on Instagram and Twitter. At the same time, join podcast groups on Facebook. Helen Zoltman runs Podcaster Support Group, which is great for exchanging tips, ideas and episodes. Number five, promo hacks. Go the extra mile, post short videos of the show, share the journey of your podcast in pictures or record a 30 second advert of your podcast and see if other podcasts will play it. Tag, tag, tag. Ensure you have set hashtags for your show, name, hosts, places. Update each episode with the relevant content. It can be helpful to get a Google account and share the episodes this way. By working hard and smart on social media, you can save money, build relationships in the scene, engage and grow your audience. Two rules, be seen and be everywhere. I look forward to being your latest fan. Thank you for listening to GeoCast, the official podcast of GeoPro UK. Be sure to follow us at GeoPro UK on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and find us on Facebook. Thank you.